Hello and welcome back to another edition of What's Moving in the Forex Market brought to you by myself, Kurt Capra, and Pristine Trading. Please keep in mind that all comments are for educational purposes only and should not be construed as investment advice. And I also want to remind you guys that Pristine offers a series of free webinars each and every single week. Here today, Monday, February 22nd at 4.15, we've got a discussion of trading strategies with Greg Capra, certainly uh, an all-time favorite for pristine trained students and, and even those who have never been trained by pristine before but just come in here for the first time. So definitely encourage you to check that out. And then later in the week, Thursday, February 25th, again at 4.15, 10 misconceptions of the Forex market. So if you're viewing this video, this might be something right up your alley. So definitely come check it out. It'll be with myself. So I'd love to have you there. And then following up with next week, you can see we have another webinar. And, and if you want to see the full schedule of webinars, just simply go to www.pristine.com and you can check that out. All right, let's take a look at where things are at. Starting as we always do in the upper left, we've got Euro US dollar on the daily chart. And, you know, here we can see that today so far we've had this uh, sell off. We've had this red bar bringing us back down and. As you can see, it's coming down on top of where we previously broke out from. So we'll see if it doesn't bounce from here. You know, buyers are already starting to step up a little bit. The trend is trying to work its way higher. So overall, from the daily chart, we'll have a more, more bullish bias than anything else. But at the same time, this is a deep retracement that has put things in question. So a li little bit tricky, but overall, in, at least in the short term here, next couple days, probably try to move higher. Moving over to Aussie dollar, US dollar, this one here has broken out to the upside, but still contending with resistance to the left. So not out of the woods yet, but certainly putting together a, a more bullish case. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Right now, though, uh, once again, I would be more focused on playing the intraday strength as opposed to getting swing long at this point although that is something becoming more and more possible as as things evolve moving over to the right new zealand dollar us dollar this one also putting in a very strong green candle so far here today but once again coming up into this resistance so not out of the woods but certainly making a strong case and if this can close the way that it looks here right now it will really make a stronger case that it's going to push through uh, that's going to be one of the key things we watch over the next uh, couple hours and days, so forth, is how do we close here and then what kind of follow through do we get? But it is it is looking more and more bullish. Moving on down to the bottom right, US dollar yen. This is in a pretty steady downtrend here. Getting a little bit of a bounce today so far, but this, this is just bouncing right up into resistance, which should provide the next opportunity to get short. So... If this does put in a bottoming tail, or I'm sorry, if this does put in a topping tail, that is going to suggest getting short under that under that area. So something to keep in mind. And, and if it does, it'll at least go down to the prior low and given the trend, probably lower. Middle bottom chart, U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar. We've got this uh, slow bleed lower, kind of just consolidating down here where we've got relatively equal lows, but these highs are getting lower. So we've got a series of lower highs forming while we've also got equal lows, meaning there's a compression uh, of the range here or a contraction in volatility. So we'll want to see what happens here. We could get a breakdown, but at the same time, we could also get a snap right back up because as you can see, there is some support to the left. So little little bit indecision, a little bit tricky here. We'll just have to see how it plays out and go with the momentum. And finally, pound US dollar here in the bottom left. This one moving lower on, on earlier news, but hitting support in the form of this prior low and bouncing back up so far here today, producing a bit of a, a bottoming tail. Again, we'll see how this closes, but the trend is down. Things are weak, and we'll look to see if this doesn't continue to sell off. 
ultimately if it breaks this prior low and and what is now today's low that is exactly what will happen on the other hand if it can hold and begin to move back up it's got some work to do so i am not yet ready or, or willing to say that we want to be bullish at this point so that's our roundup here for today make sure to like comment and subscribe to the video and we'll see you again next week